All right, driving home, driving around here for a little bit. Um, and last night I just did a long fucking three hour podcast last night for the Thursday show, which is up and dropped right now. Check it out, Ernst Podcast. Three hour show. I apologize, it's too long. Um, the uh, conversation last night, especially with the Big Jim and Robert Genius, went almost two hours alone. Um, but we got into a lot of discussions about, the, about politics and got a lot of uh, this conversation about uh, the state of the race with two less than two weeks ago and all that stuff. And I, I'm I, my, I'm I'm unchanged. Like we had a uh, one of the things we, we were talking about was uh, the whole Liz Cheney campaign with Kamala Harris. Like the endorsement, I get you can't control who you, uh, endorses you, but why do you have why 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 do you have uh, Liz Cheney stumping for you? I don't understand that. Like read a room. Like, is this Democrats really trying to move right now? Like, I thought when they got Tim Walls, the, the, the play was, oh, well, this is probably going to be Democrats finally leaning to their left progressive uh, ideology, which people, you know, accuse them of being Marxist. Trust me, calling Dem- the Democratic Party a Marxist party is actually insulting to the Marxist party because they're not they're not left enough. Trust me. Um, the party is still a very centered, centered um party, centrist party, that still clings on to corporate power and all this good stuff, and so, I just don't understand why they are leaning into this Liz Cheney thing, I don't understand that, like, yeah, you can't control who who endorses you, and I get all that, but to have Liz Cheney campaign for you, and I know the, the, the strategy here is to, well, Republicans here who are never Trumpers and that, leaning that, and I get all that. There's a lot of Trump, uh, Republicans who are not, who can't stand Trump, may like the policies and all that good stuff. And, and, and I, again, I get all that. But to have them, to have Liz Cheney, the daughter of the, I don't think, I think it's arguable, um, the worst vice president in the history of our country. Um, I mean, he's the reason that I literally left the Republican Party in 2008. Like, he is the reason why. And we're going to lean in to this shit? I mean, I, I don't get it, man. I really don't get it. Um, You got to read a room, man. I, I, I think you're just alienating a lot of potential, like, voters in the, within your own tent. And they'll be... Myself and Rob got into it last night about, oh, and, and Jim too got into it last night about that, and I, I, I'm going to agree disagree on that one. I'm looking at it more from a broader perspective. I, I get the broader perspective in terms of just like Republicans and you know making it more okay Republicans, but it's not so much about Republicans campaigning. I have no problem with that. It's that Republican campaigning on for for Kamala Harris. That is the part I don't understand, and I don't know. I, I feel like. You know, and I know Rob and I were talking about this last night on the pod. I, I feel like that. I, I don't know, man. I just I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, look, it's not going to affect my vote. I know who I'm voting for, but still, to have her, the daughter of the worst VP in the history of this country, campaigning multiple times, I think it's, I don't think it's smart. I think it's bad political theater, and. Maybe it was too online. Maybe it was too close to the situation. You know, Rob said last night that most folks who vote don't even know who the fuck Liz Cheney is, and maybe there's some truth to that. But I just, I just, don't, I just think with a race that is razor thin, which we've seen in the polling, was 12 days ago. You can't. You have to be very careful what you're doing. You know, but who knows? But anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. Um, check out that episode, by the way. It's a uh, the Thursday episode of Never Take Podcast. Uh, that was a pretty fiery two-hour conversation last night. And a show, it actually was three hours because it was three different segments. So, all right, I'm done. I'm done. See you guys later.